Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate how to check whether there are multiple elements on a page which can be located with same name or class locators. So let's get started. So I'll take you to one application that is tutorialsinja.com slash demo application. Okay, here in this application, I'll take you to the login page. When I'm on this login page of this particular demo application, you can see there are a lot of elements on the right side, login, register, and all this stuff. They look similar. So I have a doubt that all these options, which look similar, they have a similar format, right? They may have a same class name, okay? Whenever you see an application having similar format, for example, these headers are looking same. They may have the same class name, okay? But this button looks different from this button. That means this button has a different class name, which is applying its own CSS. Whereas this button will have a different class name, which will help it in applying a different CSS style to this. But these options here look same, right? When I hover also, you see you are getting the same kind of violation. That means I can guess that these options may have the same class name, okay? I'll inspect this login, okay? Let's say I want to locate this login. If I inspect this, if I inspect this, you see here, this is HTML code of this login and this is the class, okay? How to find out whether this is a unique class name or there are other elements on the page which have the same class name. There are two ways, guys. One of the way is by using the extension, okay? We can install an extension, guys. Uh, with that help of the extension, we can easily find it out, okay? The extension name, name is nothing but selectors hub, okay? This is the extension name. Just search selectors up here, you'll get this uh, uh, official website or directly Chrome store, whatever you feel convenient. I'll go to the official website. Okay, so on the after going to the official website, you see you are get, getting this. Uh, uh, this keeps on changing as the UI of this page keeps on changing. So whatever that is, but here we can see selectors sub install is there. I'm going for selectors sub. Just click on this. After you click on that selectors sub. Okay, then you see if you want to install it on Chrome, if you want to install this selectors sub. Okay, selector sub on Chrome, then you have to select this different browsers you can install. I'm just selecting the to install on Chrome. It will directly take me to the Chrome store. Now, select add to Chrome, add extension. In a while, the selector sub will be added to my Chrome browser. So let's wait. You see selector sub has been added to the Chrome. I'll click on this and pin it so that you can see the selector sub here. Now, how to use the selector sub? Just close all this stuff. Since the selector sub extension is already Okay, it's already installed. What I have to do? So what I will do is I'll right click on this login. Okay, I will right click on this login button and select inspect option. And so not, not this login button guys, I have to inspect on this login option. And this is HTML code, this is HTML code. Okay, and I'll go to this last tab. Okay, under elements, sub tags are there like style, computed layout. Okay, here you can find the last tab as, okay, find more tabs, more sub tabs of this elements tab. That is style, styles is one sub tab of the elements tab, okay, which is displayed here. And the last tab, as you can see, when you see more, you're getting selector sub. This is a selector sub, okay, this is a selector sub. Let's inspect this login. Okay, so what is the problem? So let me restart this browser once, okay? Sometimes what happens is like, I need to restart the browser. Okay, so close this and uh, just restart the browser. Now I'll go to the same application page, go to the login. Here we have the right click, uh, right side options. I'll inspect one of the login option. Now in the sub tabs, just select selector sub. Okay, it looks good now. Just expand this and uh, click on this option so that you can see all the generated selectors. Okay, you'll, you'll get the complete list now. So now inspect this login option, guys. Right click and inspect. You'll see that these are the locators for this different type of locators which are possible for this login option on the right side. If you see the class name, it's clearly stating that there are 13 elements. Okay. So if you use the class name as a locator for locating this login option, how many elements are there? 13, 13 elements on this page are there having the same class name. And login is 
definitely login will be in the first position, register will be in the second position and so on. Okay. You can also confirm that here. Sorry, go to elements and uh, you can also confirm that here. Just scroll up. The down you generally get guys. You have to expand it much. Here, only one element, multiple elements will be shown here. Just click on this class name and uh, it's kind of difficult for me sure to show you. So, okay, only one option is coming. Uh, what is a class name? Okay, here, this is the element it's showing for now. If I inspect this register, you see that also has the same class name. Okay, this, this also has the same class name. You see, all these options are having the same class name. Fine. So this is the thing guys. So which looks similar options, which look, uh, look similar, have the same class name, most possible possibility having the uh, uh, same class name is high if the options are looking similar. So I, I told you in the beginning, right? If I inspect this login, here I'm getting the class name, but it's clearly saying that there are other elements on the page having the same class name. How many elements are there? Total 30, 13 elements have the same class. This is one way to find. What is the other way to find if I don't want to use selector sub and still I want to find uh, how many elements are on this page having the whether the class name of this particular login option is a unique one or it has multiple other elements also have the same class name if I want to find it out right click and select this login option right click and select inspect on this login option and here you will get the HTML code here you can see the class copy this class attribute value copy this class attribute value now say this is the anchor tag having the class attribute as whatever the class value I copied. Control F. Now write an XPath expression. Okay. Or CSS selector, whatever you feel convenient. I'll write uh, XPath expression. The tag is A and the attribute is class and the value I copied. Double slash A at the rate class without using selector sub I also I can do. Okay. If in case selector sub is not available for you tomorrow, you can do this approach. Okay. So double slash A at the rate class is equal to this group item. You see one of 13, the same thing, whatever the selectors have has mentioned us and uh, saved our time by saying that there are 13 other elements, 13 actual elements on the page having the same class name value. Okay. You see what are those 13 elements you can see here. You see the register also has the same thing. Forgot password. You On the UI you can see guys. Okay. On the UI you can see address book, wish list, order history. Okay. These are the different elements on the page having the same class locator that is list group item as a class locator. Okay. So when, when there are multiple elements have the same, uh, class attribute value in that case, we cannot use class attribute class locator for locating the element, but we can still use, uh, we can still use this class locator for locating the first of those elements. You see, we, in, we, one of 13 means this is the first one that will get located with this class locator. So if you, if your purpose is to, uh, locate this login with the help of selenium automation or whatever it is you can use a class name for login guys but for register you cannot use class name okay for register you cannot use class name or for list group uh, the forgot password you cannot use class name but if you want to still use you should not be using the class name rather you can use an xpath expression inside the xpath expression you can use a class and here give values like this one one means login will be located only one of one that you say only one element login if i give two here Register is getting only register is getting located. It's another way. Okay. But hope you understood, right? Hope you understood like what is a, okay. Hope you understood uh, what is the way of checking whether multiple elements on the page uh, have the same locator for locating. In that case, the first element of those elements can be located with that uh, class or name locator. So how to figure out that there are multiple elements on the page having the cl same class locator or name locator, etc. First, first is that you can use either selectors hub, which will give you clearly like, a, okay, this class name, uh, there are 30, 13 elements for this element. What is the class name is there? Similarly, there are other elements, 12 other elements along with this element, 13 elements have the same class name, or we can create this kind of XPath expressions to figure out ourselves manually also, okay? By writing this XPath expression also, by not providing this number, just only the XPath expression, you can figure out that how many elements are there. If it is only one, here we'll get one of one. If you're getting two of 13 or one of 13, whatever it is, that means there are many elements on the page. There is 13 elements on the page having the same class locator. So we have to use it only for the first element, not for the other elements. Okay. So, so that's all for this session guys. Okay. Thank you. Bye.